Hey guys, Thunder E here, and this is all about the OnePlus 10T. This device right here, because this is a very different approach for OnePlus, especially with the price point, which you guys already know. The 10T starts at 649, which is quite impressive, honestly, for the 8 gig 128. And of course, that price goes up, as you can expect. But for that price point, you get in a lot with this device. And as a mobile gamer, that is something to be quite impressed with. Let's start off with the display. 6.7 inches. This is a 120 hertz display, LTPO, you expect that. But you know what? The screen refresh rate is a thousand hertz. Nothing comes close to that currently in the market that I can think of mentally. Even the ROG Phone 6, I don't think so. So, which means while you're gaming, it feels really smooth, it glides, it's really comfortable. And honestly, it is super, super impressive. Now, of course, you've got that. The inbuilt finger, fingerprint sensor is super fast, very responsive. But we flip to the back where we have this new design. Kind of feels like satin in a way. You can hear that. Uh, looks like something, of course, that wouldn't keep fingerprints. I love it. Kind of reminds me, of course, of the Kevlar back, but I really like it, the, the feel of it. You've got your camera set up at the back with the 50 megapixel main, a megapixel ultra wide, the flash. Um, you know, this really is it's a solid camera system, but it's not focused on camera. And we're not looking at that in this video. There are other videos you can check out on that. But this houses a couple of things in here. Let's start off with the very first thing, the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 uh, processor. So this is the latest Snapdragon processor, something we saw in the ROG phone, uh, uh, phone 6, which we see here in this device. What does that mean? It means that automatically you're getting better performance than anything that had Snapdragon 8 uh, Gen 1. But it's not just the processor, it's also the cooling they've actually included into this device. They've got the next generation 3D cooling and you're gonna see temperatures and performance that ooh, absolutely blows your mind. So let's just put it this way. I'll just tell you this. I did not get any temps past 109 degrees. Yes, I said that. I'm saying that really important because your Galaxy, your iPhones, all went to 116, 117. Any phone with Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 did that, even the ROG phone. So just hold that for a second there. So you've got super cool, super great cooling with the 3D cooling system. I'm gonna just tell you what it actually means. It says, this is what OnePlus says about this. It's got the largest vapor chambers with eight dissipation channels, allowing for just better cooling with 3D graphite up to 50% improved heat dissipation, right? That's what they say. And you're gonna see the numbers. But, but to get those numbers, we have to play some games. And let's start off with our very first game, Call of Duty Mobile, right? Call of Duty Mobile, running this at 60 frames per second on the highest settings. And this thing runs really well. Smooth, 60 FPS, you can see it, and that's good. Now we use uh, Game Bench, that's our uh, benchmark tool. If one of you guys wanna use it, use the link down below. So it's running cool, and that kind of reminds me of our wallpaper, right? So you saw that earlier, fifth captain, you know, with his eye sword coming up. It makes a lot of sense. Then we move over to PUBG Mobile. PUBG Mobile, we played the two settings we usually play. First of all, is Smooth Extreme. That did 60 frames per second, no issues all the way through, and that was nice. And then we went over to Ultra HD Ultra, and we did a solid 40 frames per second. Again, it can definitely do more, with updates, we'll see if developers will actually open this up to actually give us higher frame rates. But before we get to Genshin Impact, let's go over to Apex Legends Mobile, which does a solid 40 frames a second. You can crank it to do 60, but the recommended setting said, said it was, you know, ultra and high. And that gave us 40. Game played well. I won my game because Apex Legends is great. Honestly, it's just a bunch of noobs. That's probably why I'm winning. But um, it's a great game. I love it. It played really, really well. Now you're thinking, at this time, what kind of temperatures was I getting while playing? Well, playing those three games, my average temperature was around 99 degrees Fahrenheit, roughly around 35, 36, for playing uh, PUBG Mobile, Call of Duty Mobile, and Apex Legends. Now here's the big one. We went over and played some Genshin Impact. Now Genshin Impact, we know it's poorly optimized. When you max out the settings, this thing runs really hard. It ran hard on the ROG Phone 6. Clay ran hot there. And this we played for about 30 to 40 minutes. Actually, 30 minutes was what we used for the recording, but later on we played for another 40 minutes. 
and we got an average frame rate of 46 frames per second. That is better than your Galaxy S21 Ultra, better than the iPhone, better than almost any other device other than a gaming phone. Mind you, this is not considered strictly a gaming phone. It's, it's a OnePlus 10T, right? We got 46 frames per second and our max temperature here was about uh, roughly 106 to 209 degrees. That's, that's pretty much it. Didn't get any hotter than that. And that is truly impressive. Now, I was excited to see this because while gaming, it, my hands didn't burn up. It didn't feel super hot. I didn't need to cool the device down. That cooling absolutely works. And also, the game engine works because they have a, a lot of game features that really go a long way to helping you game properly. They've got a hyper boost engine and they've also got this really cool game center in there, right? So when, which is pretty easy to access, you go into your game itself, you swipe down from either the left or the right hand corner of the screen and this gives you your game center, right? And here you've got a ton of new of features. You can go ahead and set your performance settings, you can do game focus, you can also look at the system stats to show you your benchmarks on screen. There's a voice recorder orientation. And you can also see your temperatures. So you can see the temperatures on screen while you are playing the game. And also use my temperature gun as well, but you can clearly see that there, which is good. Now this device comes with a dual cell 4,800 uh, milliamp battery. It's a dual cell 7C battery, which allows for faster cooling because it also comes with a 160 watt charging block. Now the charging is rated 125 watts. You're wondering why 160 when it's 125, simple. It's because it allows you to charge effectively at 125. So we did that because OnePlus said it would take you 20 minutes from 1% 1 to 100. We did zero to 100. And in five minutes, we were already at past 50%. In 10 minutes, we were past 75. And 20 minutes, uh, it was about 98%. But finally, it finished at 22 minutes and 37 seconds. Now you're also wondering, what about the device? Did it run super hot? No. Device stayed at around 93 degrees in terms of temperatures, while the charging block did hit up though up to 122. So that is something to take note there. That being said though, it means you can jump back into your gameplay sessions quite effectively and super fast. Say what you want about the OnePlus 10T, maybe the camera and some other features. For the things that I like when it comes to gaming, this is the best regular smartphone to game on in 2022. It gives you the best gaming performance, it gives you uh, super fast charging, and it does that at a temperature that is acceptable to game for a long period of time. Plus, it starts at 649. Honestly, you can't beat that price point, and if you're a gamer looking for something that gives you all those, plus 120 hertz display with a thousand hertz uh, touch sampling rate, it's gotta be the OnePlus 10 t Anyway guys, let me know what you think. If you disagree, leave your thoughts down below. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy entertainment.